This video will demonstrate how to reconnect your ArcScan Wi-Fi printer to a new, changed, or updated Wi-Fi network using a Windows computer. ArcScan's YouTube channel offers free help and tips for label printers and other e-commerce technology. If this video has been helpful, please give it a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. This video will demonstrate how to reconnect your ArcScan Wi-Fi printer to a new, changed, or updated Wi-Fi network using a Windows computer. To get started, we need to make sure that the USB cable is plugged into both the computer and the back of the printer, and that the printer is powered on with a blue light on top. Let's begin by opening a web browser and going to the website arcscan.com slash driver. Click on the Windows drop-down list, then Wi-Fi tab. Click this link to download the printer tool. Depending on your browser, the download status will show in different locations. Chrome is in the bottom left. Firefox is the top right. Edge is also in the top right. And by default, these browsers are usually set up to put your downloads into the Windows download folder. After completion of downloading the file, click in the browser to open the file, or go to your download folder and double click to open the compressed zip file called diagnostictool.zip. Once opened, drag the folder called printer tool onto your computer's desktop. If you try to run the program while it's still inside the compressed zip file, the software's language will not show as English. Double click to open the printer's tool folder. Now, double click on the printer tool.exe file. Under the interface dropdown, make sure USB is chosen. Click Get Status, and make sure the dot turns green. If the dot does not turn green, verify your USB connections are fully pushed in and the printer is turned on with a blue light. Click on the tab that's labeled BT slash Wi-Fi. Click on the Get button in the bottom right and data should populate in the fields. Using the DHCP drop-down list, select On this will allow the printer to obtain a new IP address from your network. Click Set. Click Scan. This will find all of the detectable Wi-Fi signals and list them in this box. Sometimes it can take a few minutes, depending on how many Wi-Fi signals there are. If your network is not listed, please verify that the Wi-Fi signal you are wanting to join is using a 2.4 GHz signal and not a 5 GHz signal. If the scan list only shows a black diamond icon, please close the application, turn off the printer, relaunch the application, turn the printer back on, and repeat these steps again. When your Wi-Fi connection appears, highlight it and then go up to the PIN field. Enter the password for the Wi-Fi name that you selected. You can click this box to reveal what you have entered. Click the Connect box. If the printer is able to connect to your Wi-Fi network, the IP field will populate an available IP address. If the populated IP address is 0000, it means that the printer has not been joined successfully to your Wi-Fi network. Most likely, the password that you entered in the PIN field was incorrect. You will need to copy or write down this number for later. In this IP field, paste or write in the IP that we just copied. To assign this new IP address to the printer, change DHCP to off. And now, click set to save this information to the printer. We can verify that it worked by going to this drop-down Choose Wi-Fi, Setup, Discover. You will see the printer listed 
with the IP address we assigned it. If the printer is not showing after clicking Discover, please verify that the computer and printer are both on the same network. Exit this window. Now we need to update the printer driver with this new IP address. In the Windows taskbar, find the search box or magnifying glass and type the word printer. Select printers and scanners when it appears. Find and click on your ArcScan Wi-Fi printer in the list. Click Manage, Printer Properties, and then click on the Ports tab. Click Add Port, Standard TCP IP Port, New Port Button. Next, type or paste the IP address we retrieved in the Diagnostic Tool. Next. This search process can take a minute or two. This next window looks like an error message, but it can be ignored. Click Next and then Finish. Close and then Apply and OK to save these settings. The printer is now reconnected to the network and ready to use. If our content has been helpful, please give us a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to our channel where we will continue to offer free tips and help for our label printer users. And be sure to click that bell icon so that you'll be notified of our future releases. And please use the add comments section below to contact us with your questions or feedback. Thank you.